This is Julie from Waterfront, and we are at our bungalow renovation transformation house. All the bungalows in this neighborhood have this staircase. So this is the side entrance. It is quite a struggle because the stair hole is so small and it's a big challenge to try to make these stairs work. So what we did is widen the stair hole on this side by three and a half inches. Now we didn't borrow, want to borrow too much from the kitchen, so three and a half felt like the right thing. And on the other side, we took about 10 inches. And we're trying to reconfigure the stairs so that they have more headroom going downstairs so we can fit a couch down there. And also trying to make it feel more spacious coming up into the main floor. Now coming down here, a railing, railing, railing. Now we gotta try and figure out how to put a post here that's not too close. It has to leave enough room here for you to bring your furniture down. We want to insulate this wall, which means we have to strap it with two by fours in order to keep the house warm. That takes up space too, so it's taking more space, making our stair hole even smaller. So, you know, we gotta use all the tricks we can here. Our, our LDL almost underneath the door. You're gonna say, well, when you walk in the front door, you're gonna fall into the basement. No, we're gonna create an angle here and support it nicely, of course, to maximize this headroom. So when you come down these stairs, you have some clearance. So it's playing with all these little, all these inches, playing with the height of this landing here. If this landing's higher, you can get rid of one of these stairs. If the landing's lower, then you have more headroom going downstairs. So that's a big challenge, and our friends over at JV Oaks are going to help us configure a new staircase for this glorious mansion of a bungalow.